Next up here, we have got the Philadelphia Eagles, and they've got the easiest schedule in football, according to win percentage of, uh, of their opponents. Uh, six and a half is their total. Now, to win the division, plus 500, that's, that's dead last. To win the NFC, actually the 12th best odds at plus 2,800, tied with the Giants. Uh, and to make the playoffs, they are plus two forty to go under or to uh, to not make the playoffs is minus three hundred. So they they expect them to not make the playoffs this year. Uh, they have gone under their season win total six of the last eleven, and it's gone under the last three years. Of course, went way under last year with only four wins, and their total was nine and a half. And they are projected favorites in two games this year. Uh, they got two great skill players in Devontae Smith and Kenny Galladay. Uh, in the draft, but uh, Jalen Hurts ranked dead last in completion percentage over expected in 2020, and he was he had the sixth most interception worthy passes in the NFL last year. That is not a good combination. So it doesn't matter if you have weapons if you can't get them the ball or you turn the ball over, that's going to hurt. So well, and he he didn't play a full season last year, obviously. He, he, he got, you know, Carson got benched, and, and Jalen took his job. A lot of these teams, they start seeing him a second and third time. They're just going to be able to pick him off. So here's where this is where the um, – you got to hear this video, understand when we're doing it and how this works. Because this is one of the hot teams that people are talking about might be in the running for Deshaun Watson. Now, and that, that would make sense. Now – if this team trades for Deshaun Watson, you could take everything we say and throw it in the garbage. Yes. yes because yes. this is maybe, I, I mean, I think Deshaun Watson is the second best quarterback in football right now. Like overall skill talent. I got Patrick. I got Deshaun. I, I, you know, we're splitting hairs between like the top four or five guys, but he's in that conversation and he can't be outside of five. So, so th this whole it, thing just blows up. If it that's just, right. this preview, that's right. all those skill players get unbelievably better if yes. Deshaun Watson yeah. walks in that door. Okay, you are correct. Uh, so I'm doing this based on the team as it is constituted right now. I've got them five and eleven. Uh, what is the team total? What was their win total? Six and a half. Yeah, I got them going under that. Them going into that significant. Yeah, you got them. You got them five and eleven or six and eleven. I'm sorry, five and twelve. I five apologize. 12. I'm so used to the the old ways of doing it. I've got them five wins. So I did that's, the math. That's what I was looking at. Um, a projected favorite in only two games. Look, the offensive line was garbage last year. I don't know if that had a whole lot to do with Jalen Hurts. Um, but they, they allowed the league worst 65 sacks last year. Big part of that, though, they, they had guys on the offensive line that missed 56 games combined last year. Oh, they had a lot of injury problems. Improve. Let me tell you yeah. another thing, man. They've had injury like, problems for years. I I wasn't a big Doug uh, – not Doug Marone. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, the quarterback, the coach that got fired, won a Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I know, I know who you're talking about, but I'm blank too. Hold on. Anyway, Hold on. go ahead. Uh, wasn't a big fan of his, but at the same time, he's a hell of a lot better than who they got now. Uh, and yes. So that that's one that of my shocks notes. me. This is this like, is a league where I I bet on, just like in college, in the NFL, it's that times three or four. Bet on quarterbacks. I bet on coaches. Okay. That's the list. That's how my brain works. If I think you have a bad coach or a bad quarterback, I can't. I, I think there's a world. This team is going to be in tank mode. And we saw last year they're not afraid to tank at all. Um, I, I think there's a world where they they are trying to tank to get the first round pick by the end of the season, by the halfway point of the season. It was Doug Peterson, by the way. Doug Peterson, that was it. Yeah. Uh, the new coach, Nick Sirianni, uh, he was the I, OC for the Colts, but he didn't call plays. He's nope. just. He's, He's just kind you of know how I feel. Of, I never know. want the genius that works on the side of the genius. All right. Yes. Like, like Frank I think Reich Frank Reich was the architect of that genius season that the Eagles had. Okay. Why yes. would I trust Doug Peterson when I think it was all Frank Wright? We got enough evidence to see probably Frank because once Frank left, his team went to the shitter. Yes. Yes, it did. Uh, I've got them going under the six and a half as well. Uh, got them not making the playoffs at minus three hundred. Yeah, that's uh. That's the way it goes. So, so I far, team, I think they're going to, and this is a team that likes analytics. I, when football hasn't done a lot of tanking, I absolutely think over the next couple of years, we're going to see more tanking. I think this team is going to be in tank mode. 
this year. I, I think so as well. I think so as well. I think so as under is almost a dead nuts lock. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.